them right there. Amen. Anybody feeling good tonight? Anybody feeling good? All right. Hey, it's going to be a good night tonight. We are excited about our youth and our student ministry and all the adults that's been working with them. Uh, as I said this morning, they've been putting in a lot of uh, a lot of hours into this production. And I promise you, I promise you tonight is not going to be a waste of your time. You're going to walk out of here just uh, rejoicing. Uh, whether, wh- whether you say you just, uh, whether it, uh, whatever it does to you, it gets you in the Christmas spirit. Because we know that Christmas is centered around Jesus Christ, you know, without Him, apart from Him. You know, if He was just an ordinary baby, you no, know, we wouldn't be here tonight. But He was not an ordinary child. He was extraordinary in His plan and His purpose. And so we are just thankful and honored to have you here with us tonight. Um, let's go ahead and just bow our heads and hearts and we'll pray and uh, we'll get started here tonight. Father, we just love you. We thank you for this service that's going to take place tonight, dear Father God. And God, I know all these students, dear God, and children, and they're nervous tonight, dear Father God, but that's a good thing. May they, uh, may they remember why they're here and what they're doing it and, and who they're doing it for, and that's you. And that, God, I pray that every heart, God, may you soften every heart now, Lord Jesus, and just use this production, God, just to minister to us tonight and, God, and just meet needs in our life like only you can, and we'll promise to praise only you because we ask this belief. Leave him because we pray in Jesus' name. If you can agree with the prayer, help me say amen. Amen. I'm going to get everybody to stand. And let's sing, Angels We Have Heard on High. Angels we have heard on high, sweetly sing. Let's pray. Our gracious Heavenly Father, Lord, we just thank you for tonight. We thank you we can gather in your house, Lord, and just to hear your story, Father. Lord, we pray now for each and every participant here tonight, Lord. We pray you calm fears and nerves, Lord, and we just pray that every word and every song and every act is done just to further your kingdom and to glorify you, Father. Lord, as we take up this offering, we just pray to be used to further your kingdom throughout this world. And we pray if there's anyone here tonight that does not know you as their personal Savior, Lord, we pray that they make the greatest decision they'll ever make. And what a, what a Christmas gift that would be, Lord. And we just pray for that. With all these things, we ask your heavenly name. Amen.
all these pretty faces out here tonight. Where's except for you, Mr. Ralph? Oh, he's gone. He's out anyway. Hey, good to have you tonight. If you don't know who I am, I am Bill Dillion. I'm the student pastor here. Uh, we're glad to have you. I uh, just want to kind of give you a kind of a idea very quickly of how this came about. Um, we started a Sunday night class. Oh man, about six months ago, right after I started, and we did a few Bible studies. But the kids didn't realize what I was doing. I was pulling the bait and switch on them, bring them in for Bible study. And then September hit. We said, okay, by the way. Here's your new Bible study. It's a Christmas program. None of them quit. None of them left that, that, I, that I recall anyway. Um, so they've been working hard. Um, we've taught them, and, and we believe this that this is ministry for them uh, to be able to serve you uh, in, in, this, in this, um, this setting with your voices, with the instrument playing. You'll see sign language in a little bit. Uh, but we believe that anytime you serve the Lord, it's ministry. So if there's a missed line, a missed note, it's irregardless because they're doing it for the glory of God. So so we're glad you are here. Thank you so much. I don't know why I'm nervous. I'm looking around. I'm like, I know you all, most of you anyway. But we are very, very glad you're here. So we're going to kick off tonight. Y'all give it up for our MC for tonight, Mr. Randy Dungess. Tonight from Black Rock Baptist Church is the first annual 516 Youth Christmas Spectacular starring Jackie Rodriguez, Ryan West, Josh Mobley, Jacob Casper, Caleb Casper, John Casper Jr., Pierre Alexander, Faith Nevin, Cole Compton, Carol Hemingway, Christina Lyles, Michaela Wells, Bailey Rose, Caitlin Meadows, Frappe Alexander, Robin Mobley, Donna Hemingway, Nikki Kreider, Amanda DeLeon, Isaiah Bartley, Alyssa Hall, Katie DeLeon, Hunter Mobley, Chase Kreider, Caleb DeLeon. Special guest is the mighty drummer David Ray and the mighty drummer Wally Messer with musical performances by the misshaped snowflakes, the Rockin' Reindeers, the Gingerbread Beauties, and the Mistletoe Misfits. Please welcome your co-hosts of the evening, Don Mobley and Rhett DeLeon. Now, all the way from the mighty town of Uly is the great Mrs. Tammy West. Welcome, everyone to the 516 Youth Christmas Spectacular. We are so glad to have you here tonight in the audience, and we also want to give a shout out to all of those watching on their TVs across America. Hello, everyone. <laughs> you are in for a great treat this evening. We have several musical performances scheduled that I know that you're going to love. Also, throughout the evening, we are going to have reports live from downtown from our two reporters, Wally Wigwacker and Willie Wingman seeking to find the true meaning of the holidays. It's called Christmas. Um, <laughs> did anyone else hear that? Like I was saying, the holidays are upon us and everyone it's is- It's called Christmas. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I am so sorry for the technical difficulties. Hopefully we can get through the rest of the show without any more problems. <laughs> we really hope you have a happy holiday this holiday season and you get all the holiday gifts on your it's holiday wish list. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the special holiday song. Said, thanks, lady. I am pretty happy, but there's only one holiday that makes me feel that way. It's called Christmas, what can I say? It's about the birth of Christ, and 
Yes, yes it is, Miss Tammy. The 516 Youth Christmas Spectacular is sponsored by the Rishi Washi Windshield Wiper Company. Fairly certain to work well in wet weather. And now, Will Watson. It's just a few more days till Christmas and the streets are packed as the shoppers rush home with their treasures. Reporters Wally W. Wigwacker and Willie Wingman are white in the middle of the wash. I'm sorry about that, I always do that. Right in the middle of the rush, and we go there live to sample the holiday spirits on the street. Wally. Thanks, Will. Wally Wigwacker here. Indeed, people are passing with huge packages as they scramble to find the last gift. The Christmas mood is bright. However, as we smile, add the smile. Excuse me, sir. Wally Wigwacker, 516 Youth Christmas Spectacular. Do you mind sharing your Christmas joy with us? Huh? Would you mind sharing your Christmas huh? joy? Would you mind huh? sharing... Sir. Shh. Uh, well, it seems we just had an encounter with one of our city's more colorful characters. But hey, let's screw us out of fruitcake. Back to you in the studio. Mm, if I were you, I'd get off the tracks, Wally, because the train is a coming. A crazy train, that is. You're telling me that guy was a few rocks short of an avalanche. <laughs> Speaking of rocks, you want to know what really rocks? This next song. Here tonight to perform, Rockin' Around the Christmas Tree, The Misshaped Snowflakes.
hey, guys, 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 we're live. <laughs> now that not one of us can unsee that, let's check in with our other correspondent, Willie Wingman. Well, here comes a promising person. Excuse me, ma'am. Willie Wingman here with 516 Youth Christmas Spectacular. Would you mind sharing your Christmas joy with us? You want me to have joy? Then give me some money, mister. I'm trying to live off my sorry social security from my sorry late husband's sorry pension from that sorry job he worked up for 30 sorry years. You know what he did for 30 years, Mr. TV man? He started out making faces all day. Really? Yeah, he worked in a clock factory. <laughs> <laughs> now here it is Christmas. I've got 23 greedy grandkids who all want money, and I'm flat busted. In fact, here's talk about myself this Christmas. Now we'd have joy. Get real, Sonny. Well, it's nice for her to share her Christmas dinner with me. It seems that finding the Christmas spirit may be harder than we thought, but we won't give up. Let's see if we can't snag someone overflowing with the merry mood of Christmas. Ma'am. Ma'am. Would you mind sharing some of your Christmas joy with our viewing audience? Joy? Where? Don't you get it? What does Christmas have to do with joy? I have aunts and uncles and brothers and sisters and in-laws and allies all at my house right now. And they all need food, and they all need baths, and they all need gifts. And the plumbing at my house is broke. And the stores are just about out of stuff. And my therapist is out of the office. And I'm just about out of my mind. Ugh. And I got to remember to get Cheese Whiz. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, Cheese Whiz from the famous family of aerosol cheeses. Those guys are having a hard time out there. But what about you and our studio audience? Are you having a good time tonight? We really hope that you are. And don't forget, if you want to see yourself on TV, you can check this program out again next week, Friday night, 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Check your local public access channel's listings for further details. Okay, without any further ado, performing What a Glorious Night, let's welcome to the stage the Rockin' Reindeers. And there were, in the same country, shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which, you be, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. Ye shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men.
Here we go again. That's right. Let's see if you got anything for us, boys. Christmas joy. You guys seen plenty of that there in the studio. But it seems to be a rare commodity here in the big city. But everywhere are blinking lights, the light snow is falling, and the sound of carols being sung in the air. Indeed it is, Wally. Indeed it is. No, really, it is. It seems we have here some Christmas carolers, a true symbol of the season, a heartwarming tradition seldom seen in the city anymore. Let's listen for a moment. Wonderful, just wonderful. In this day and age, it's great to see a group of people set aside their own busy schedule to brighten up the holidays of others. Uh, as I was saying, the sounds of the seasons are a great backdrop as we speak to Pacify. Excuse me, miss, would you mind sharing with our viewing audience? What? I can't hear you. Would you mind sharing some of your Christmas joy? You said help you find your little boy? No, he said we would like you to share your Christmas cheer. You said my hair looks like a horse's rear? What in the world? Now we will ask the Christmas carolers to contribute other money to the poor this Christmas. Thanks, man. I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure my life's in danger back there. I thought it was the end. Yeah, man. I am not ready to bury you just yet. We're a team. Back to you guys in the studio. Wow. Man, I thought they were going. I was afraid they were going to start singing the Twelve Days of Christmas next, but we'll keep working. That's, working. that's a great idea. Um, what idea? The, the Twelve Days of Christmas. Let's sing the Twelve Days of Christmas. Would y'all like to sing the Twelve Days of Christmas with us? Okay, everyone. Remember those candy canes we passed out before the show, but told you do not eat. I hope you haven't eaten them. Well, here is why. A few of you did not receive a red candy cane, but some of you received a green one. Will all those who have a green candy cane please come stand up on the stage with us? And we know who you are. We know who you are. Congratulations. You are our lucky winners. Come on up. Come on up. Come on up. Here's, here's what you need to do to claim your prize. Put your candy cane down or in your pocket and come up on the, to the stage. You want to know what you all won tonight? You have won, all won a special guest starring role in tonight's telecast. <laughs> but listen, everyone else in your seats, we want you to join us in a moment as well. So in a minute, we want you to stand too. That's right. At this very moment, you and the rest of the, the cast of tonight's program will be performing and acting out the 12 Days of Christmas. Give it up for our winners, everyone. <laughs>
Surely somebody's feeling happy today. In fact, here comes a jolly fellow now. Perhaps he has his true spirit of the season. Just roasting on an open fire, chestnut nipping at your nose. Yeah, I had true Christmas spirit right here. Helps me through stupid times of the years. You know how long it's been since somebody's given me a present? Never. That's right. Makes me sick. And look at this coated tongue. Yeah, it's got fur on it. Yeah, I got a sliver of a liver. I got so many ulcers. My stomach looks like Swiss cheese. Gives me the chronic alotalocious bad breath. <laughs> no kidding. I've been sick for then longer than I can remember. When I get sick, I get really sick. You know what I mean, buddy? Yeah, I'm feeling kind of sick myself. Hey, it looks like you'd use a hug. Here, have a hug. <coughs> oh, I'm sorry. I always do that. Uh-oh, I'm sick again. I gotta go. I'm sick. Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, seems like nothing keep his Christmas spirit down. It seems this city needs a visit from the spirit of Christmas past because the Christmas presents seem to have been shoplifted. That was disgusting. <laughs> it was oh, gross. gosh. Uh, <clears throat> now we're here to perform Away in a Manger, the Gingerbread Beauties.
That was great. Thank you, ladies. That was just touching and beautiful. We are going to try one last time to see if our on-location reporters can find just one person to tell us what Christmas is really all about. Guys, any luck? Excuse me, ma'am. Um, Wally, I'm um, sorry to interrupt you. I'm sure you are. Well, we just got word that there are some special guests here in the studio, and they'd like to perform for us tonight. Well, why not? Okay, here to perform Angels from the Realm of Glory, please welcome to the stage the Mistletoe Misfits. Excuse me, ma'am. Thank you for waiting us for getting on the air. Would you mind telling us how Christmas brings you joy? This is what you made me wait so long for. How dare you approach me with the idea of celebrating Christmas. That pagan, commercialized excuse for running up credit card bills, worshiping at the false altar of Santa Claus, and partying. <laughs> Smells like you've been to a few parties yourself. The materialism, the greed, the mad rush. For what? I tell you, it's evil. Pure evil. Look at me. I don't participate in that heathen rite. And I have the true joy of the Lord. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> hey, mommy, mommy. Everything okay? Everything okay there, fellas? 
Would you mind sharing with our viewing audience? Well, sure, but let's see what we can do for you first. <laughs> now, what seems to be the problem? Well, there was a there choo-choo was a train man, man and, and a there lady was a with a bone and that hit me. There was cheese Whoa, whiz. And shut it down there, guys. Catch your breath. Sounds like you just about lost your Christmas cheer. I don't understand why people celebrate Christmas if it's such a headache. That's because they've forgotten what it's all about. The angels said, Behold, I bring you tidings of good tidings of great joy, which shall be unto all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. The true joy of the season only belongs to those who know him. Otherwise, it's an exercise in fertility. You're right. And all the rush, we tend to forget that sometimes. So do a lot of people. That's why this time of year is also the most depressing to some. It's because they're basing their happiness on things that soon pass away and always leaves them feeling empty. I think I get it. They celebrate the coming of Christ to the world, but don't invite them into their own heart. You got it. You know, you're not far from the kingdom of God yourself. Why don't we go discuss more of this over a cup of hot chocolate? My treat. Well, there you have it, folks. Finding the holiday cheer may be difficult to do in this hustle and bustle, but maybe, just maybe, we've been looking in the wrong place. Perhaps the key to our holiday hopes lies not in a gift to Macy's, but in a gift to God sent to all of us wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. I'm Wally W. Wigwagger. This is Willie Wingman reporting live from downtown. Wow, what an incredible moment. <clears throat> now a word from our sponsor. So, if you died today, do you know where you'd go? A cemetery? After that. I mean the afterlife. Guess not. Well, the Bible says that all men have fallen short, but you can still be saved if you burn up your wicked sleighs. Turn from your wicked ways, you idiot. You're an idiot. You just called him an idiot. You're not an idiot. Jesus loves you. But if you fuzz with your spouse no, and believe in Pop-Tarts... Believe in your heart. Look. Tell him all his sins will be forgiven. Your sins will be forgiven. I think a bird just pooped in my coffee. God could forgive me of my sins? Can you believe that? No way. Must have been a, a pelican. Uh, I thought no sin was so bad that he can't forgive. It's filled up my mug. That's a big load of poo. Now you can share the gospel without the inconvenient hassle of actually learning it yourself. Hello, Wuto. Are there those among us who are able to fly, to bend the space-time continuum, or read minds? And if so, would it stand to reason that some people may develop lesser powers? Is that whipped cream? It's not that bad. This is their story. Do it. A cheerleader discovers she is invincible. Only in her pinky toe. A student learns that he can cause massive morning breath. Man, my breath smells like monkey toilet. And athlete's foot. If everyone is special, can you change it back? Then not being special. That's great. Is super special. With great power comes great responsibility. With mediocre power comes great confusion. On an all new Heroes Rejects. Save the toe, save the cheerleader. What's the big deal? I can still see you. Can you see me now? This part of our show is brought to you by Moody Mood Bibles. The Bible that changes color as your walk with the Lord changes. Cut the talk. Increase the walk with Moody Mood Bibles. And by Rebucagram, the messenger service for people 
who've been asking for it. And by Christians Anonymous, where they only witness to other Christians. And the motto is, keep the faith to yourself. Okay, everyone, for our final act of the evening, the entire cast will be performing O Holy Night in sign language. The entire performance will be done using only black lights, so please do not take any photographs or use any other type of exterior lighting. It will also be pitch black, so we ask that you remain in your seats until the lights come back on. Ladies and gentlemen, the 516 Youth Christmas Spectacular cast presents O Holy Night. <clears throat> Stars 
taken. I think y'all enjoyed that. Is that right? Amen. That's good stuff. So last night um, at my house, about 9, 9.20ish, watching the Heisman Awards. And right before they announced the, the, the winner, there's down seated there is three, you know, perfectly qualified candidates. They could have called either one of their names. But we know how it turned out, right? About 9.20, they called whose name? Derrick Henry. But what do you think would have happened if right, before, right as Derrick was walking up the steps, they make this late announcement, and the old boy up on ESPN stepped to the said, time out, wait a minute, there's been a change. Derrick Henry is not the Heisman winner. Tre, uh, Treon Harris from, Florida, from the Florida Gators, he is the Heisman Award winner. What would y'all think about that? Hey, I'm a Gator fan, but I'd have to say, you know what? Treon don't deserve to be the Heisman winner. Derek is the one that deserves it, okay? Hey, listen to this passage of Scripture. I'm going to read to you. It's in 2 Corinthians 9, verse 15. The Bible says these words, Thanks be to God for his indescribable gift. Listen, God's gift that he has given to us, his gift, Jesus Christ, is an indescribable gift. Listen, we can describe, we can describe easily and just, uh, uh, just uh, with great specificity and detail why Derrick Henry won, uh, deserved it over Treon Harris of the Florida Gators. It wouldn't make sense to give it to somebody who didn't deserve it. But listen, when it comes to salvation, guess what? None of us have deserved this gift, but Jesus offers it to everybody. Is that right? The Bible says in Romans 5, 8, but God demonstrated his love toward us that even when we were sinners, Christ died for us. Hey, never get the idea that 2,000 years ago that God looked down upon humanity and said, hey, and then he looked over at Jesus and said, hey, guess what, Jesus? They're finally good enough. Go ahead and go die for them. Oh, no, that is not what happened. Jesus did not come when we were at our best. He came when we were at our worst. But even when man was at his worst, God was doing his best on the cross. And you see, we, we, we do celebrate Christmas. We do. If anybody else has anything to celebrate, it should be the child of God. So we celebrate Christmas. We celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ. But don't you understand something? Wrap your hearts and minds around the idea and the concept that the Bible never really admonishes us to, to remember his birth. But it does tell us time and time again to remember the death of Jesus Christ. Listen, the, the, narr the Christmas narrative is there. And they, they demonstrated that through drama and through song tonight. The Bible lets us know that Jesus came and he was born a virgin. I'm, I'm not saying don't celebrate Christmas. I'm not saying don't celebrate his birth. But the Bible tells us we are to remember his death. See, it was so significant, his death, because he could have just lived a, 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 just a sinless life. And if he, if he would have got to Golgotha, and called upon the legions of uh, thousands of angels to snatch him away, none of us would be here tonight. None of us would be, none of us would have the hope in we, that we have. None of us would have the assurance that, that heaven is our home. But because Jesus did what he did, because he paid the ultimate price, listen, that is why I can stand before you tonight. That is why you can sit where you are seated tonight and have the confidence to know that when this life is over down here, heaven will be your home. But the awesome thing is, hey, none of us deserves it. I get that. None of us deserve That's why it's called a gift. It is a gift of God. It's a gift of God. You know, I, I, you can tell I'm a big boy. So whenever I go into a restaurant and it smells good, I cannot wait to get the menu. I cannot wait to put my order in and get my food. I've never just went in there and uh, just read the menu and walked out. If I'm in a restaurant, this boy's going to eat. You hear me? I'm not going to leave until I get my blessing on that plate. So listen, if you're here tonight, if you're here tonight, you, you, you have read the menu or the menu has been read to you. You know what's on the menu. Hey, the special of the day is Jesus. That's all you need to see. Don't look beyond that. You, you, you need to hear what you need. Your main need is Jesus. So listen, at this Christmas time, at this Christmas season, hey, don't walk into a church and just be blown away and blessed by this, this terrific drama that portrays what Christmas is all about without walking out and taking hold of what the main entree ought to be, and that's Jesus. So if you're a Christian, hey, if you, if you are a child of God, you continue celebrating the reason for the season, and that's Jesus. 
But sir, ma'am, if you're here tonight, you never have taken time. You, had, you never have made the room in your heart for Jesus. I encourage you, sir, ma'am, would you do that tonight? You can do it right here tonight. Well, time out, preacher. You ain't got to talk to me. You're talking to somebody else. Because, see, my name's on a church roll, and I've been in church, you know, for umpteen years, and I've been baptized so many times the tadpoles know my name. Hey, you can do that. You can go right ahead and do all that stuff. But listen, it's never been about churchianity. It's always been about Christianity. Matter of fact, if you take Christ out of Christianity, the only thing you have left is idianity. And idianity will not save you. It's about Christianity. And Christ belongs in Christianity. The Bible says that, that uh, when God sent his son in Matthew 1.23, his name was to be called Emmanuel, which is God with us. So we see in the Christmas narrative how God came to us. The question is, how will you come to God? And the answer rolls off my tongue just as easy, and you come just as you are. You come just as you are. Listen, I'm not asking you just to, just to go take some self-improvement courses and then come back and present yourself to the Lord and see, now that you're better, now maybe God will accept me. Oh, no. Listen, there is nothing you can do. Listen, hear me now. There is nothing you can do that would make God love you any more There is nothing you can do that God would love you any less. Listen now, he loves you just as you are. He loves you just as you are. So, sir, ma'am, if you never have trusted Jesus to be your Savior, would you do it tonight? I'm talking to senior adults, middle-aged adults. I'm talking to students. Say, if you're here tonight, you never have prayed a prayer of repentance and placed your faith in Jesus, would you do it tonight? Me, let me just get you to bow your heads right where you're, right where you're seated. Every head, bow, every head bowed, every eye closed. While your heads are bowed, would you raise your heart to the Lord? Maybe you've done this before, but you didn't mean it. You didn't follow through with it. There was no commitment at all. you just going through the motions. Sir, ma'am, if that's you, I implore you, I encourage you, make that decision tonight. Nail it down uh, that you are eternally secured in Jesus Christ. Place your faith in Jesus. I want to lead you in this prayer tonight. But listen, don't pray it to me. I can't save you. Pray it after me. But make this your prayer. Are you ready? Pray this in mean it. Heavenly Father, I admit that I need to be saved. I want to be saved. Only you, Jesus, can save me. Tonight, I receive you as my Savior and as my Lord. And with your strength and with your power, I will live for you for the rest of my life. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me. In Christ's name I pray. Amen. Amen. Hey, if you can physically stand, please stand with us. We're going to sing just a few verses of, a, of the invitation here. It's a hymn of decision. If you privately just called upon Jesus and invited Christ in your heart, I want to encourage you to publicly come down here and stand. I'm going to come right down here. You will not stand alone. Listen, I'm not asking you to make a great speech. I'm not asking you just to quote any scripture or share a testimony. I just want you to come publicly, and that will be your declaration to the church and to the whole world of what Jesus has done for you. You say, well, preacher, there's a lot of people here. I'm not, sure if I could, I'm not sure if I can do that. Listen, the Bible teaches us if we're ashamed of Jesus down here, he will be ashamed of us when we stand before him. Listen, so I would encourage you just to boldly step out and come tonight. Well, preacher, you still haven't convinced me. You know, as I look around here tonight, I see a lot of, you got your favorite ball team on, and, and, and that's okay. You got your hats and your shirts on and everything, and you, rep, you are representing the team. Listen, if you are not ashamed to advertise for your favorite ball team, you should never be ashamed to advertise for Jesus. So I want to encourage you, if you just trusted the Lord tonight, would you come? As we sing, maybe there's some other prayer concerns. Hey, listen, I would love to pray with you. We're not just here just to razzle you and douse you with the performance, although it was awesome. If I need to pray with you, I would love to do that. And listen, I want, to, I want you to understand something. You already know this. I'm stating the obvious here, that God is here. And if you, want to just, if you just want to spend time with the Lord, walk right on past me and get along with your Heavenly Father. You take as much time as you need to. As we sing, would you come? To Jesus I surrender all, to Him I freely give. I will ever love and trust Him in His presence daily live. I surrender all. I Oh. 
Savior, holy thine. Let me feel thy Holy Spirit. Truly know that thou art mine. I surrender all. I surrender all. All to thee, my blessed Savior, I surrender all. They made me look good, didn't they? We are super proud of our students and our leaders. Um, One of the things that I kind of talked about at the beginning was that when they do these things, these ministries, and these types of ministries aren't for everybody. It would be kind of awkward and awesome at the same time if you were the choir and this was the church, right? So not not everybody's gifted and and has a desire to do the same thing. So we're proud of all of our students. Uh, You're going to see them serving in the church more and more as we get into 2016. So, but we're especially proud of these guys tonight for the effort that they've put in. And uh, what we want to do, I've got to thank a lot of people, but I think I'd be remiss not to let each one be honored individually. So the little guys said I was going to do this, but Miss Miss Papiani, if you can bring your crew up this way to the steps real quick, if y'all can follow right through that. Follow right through there, and one at a time, we're going to bring them up, the little guys. First is our, come right here to the steps, right on up steps. All right. And these are our mistletoe misfits. We're going we're gonna to let them tell you their name, and we're going to cheer really loud for each one of them, okay? All right, stop right there. Stop right there, okay? All right, when you say your name, then you just keep on walking back down to, the, to your spot, okay? All right, what's your name? Callan. Callan, y'all give it up for Callan. Peyton. Peyton. Abby. Say it again. I can hear you. Abby. Abby. All right. You're getting by. Come on. Leah. 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 Nice and loud. Kobe. Kobe. Sean. What's your name? Sarah. Sarah. All right. Gabe. Wait, not yet, not yet. All right, now. Gabe. Caitlin. Caitlin. Tanner. Bailey. Chesney. Chesney. Eva. Leland. I guess Brian doesn't want to say his name on the on the microphone. So that's Brian. All right. Now our, our teenagers are old enough to wait till the end. But hey, they tell you to wait till the end of the applause at graduation. Nobody listens. So if you want to cheer, by all means. But Miss Jackie Rodriguez, stand on up. Where are you at, Miss Jackie? Miss Jackie uh, is new to us. She's been coming for about two months, and she jumped in on this uh, real quick. And she had to go out of town. She got home today to be here tonight. So, Ryan West. Josh Mobley, stand on up. Jacob Casper. Excellent. I was super proud of this guy today. Caleb Casper. Pierre Alexander, <laughs> Miss Faith Nevin in that lovely voice, <laughs> Mr. Cole Compton. <laughs> Let's see who else we got here. Christina Lyons, Miss Michaela Wells, now she got hurt this afternoon, but she's still here with us today, so she wasn't able to be up on the stage. 
she worked really hard. It was not her fault. She got hurt, and going up and down the stairs uh, was, was really difficult for her. So, uh, Bailey Rhodes and that other pretty voice. <laughs> Miss Caitlin Meadows was the center of our sign language tonight. She said, are you going to call me by my nickname? Yes, Miss Frappe Alexander. <laughs> These are a couple of buddies of mine. They uh, were my students at Cedar Bay, and they, they uh, said, we want to come do a program with you if you do one. So they are here. First, Miss Donna Hemingway. <laughs> and then Miss Carol Hemingway. <laughs> and, and let me just tell you about Miss Carol uh, Jonathan, I didn't say his name because they had some kind of family thing. They had to go out of town the last minute. They left today. The they found out, told me Friday. That meant I had to replace him in a lot of different things. I'll, I'll introduce you to some other guys in just a minute. But uh, Miss Carol learned uh, Jonathan's part in about two and a half hours, and she did it tonight. So great job. Um, let's see who else. <laughs> Isaiah Bartley. Miss Alyssa Hall, <laughs> Katie Dillion, <laughs> and she played uh, bass on uh, Glorious Night. That, she's been doing lessons for three months. She did pretty good. She did a great job. She's been taking lessons for three months, and she did a great job. Uh, let's see. Mr. Hunter Mobley. This guy, somebody told me the other day, he said, I cannot believe you have him on the stage saying anything, much less singing a solo, Mr. Chase Kreider. Y'all just get ready for the show. Caleb Dillion. And then my student leader, Rhett Dillion. Did I miss any of you guys up here? We got everybody, all students? All right. Let's do a couple, couple other quick thank yous. Uh, last minute, man, we were looking for somebody uh, to play drums on a couple songs, play bass on a couple songs. And originally, this fellow was supposed to play bass on a couple songs and then drums, and then, like I said, John couldn't make it. But y'all give it up for Mr. David Ray over here. <laughs> and when I called him in a panic on Friday night, he said, I got you. And Mr. Wally Messer came through on bass guitar over here. Up in our media department, Miss Heather Sumner back there in the back, making sure the kids knew their words. We want to thank Miss Cheryl Harper and her team of adults, Miss Laura and Miss Miss Fapiani, and who else was it? Miss Susan, and so many. Thank you guys and gals for having your your the student the children ready. <laughs> These students, and I was going to thank them. They are not on the back of the uh, the program there, and there's a reason for that because. They did a whole lot for me starting Friday all the way through today. But I want to thank Miss April Ray and Kim Meadows for helping. They got this stuff done. They went to the store. They got snacks. They got supper the other night. We want to thank them for all their hard work. Give yourselves a round of applause. Thank you for being here tonight. We appreciate you. I know your hands are getting tired. We've got a little bit more to go. That's all right, all right? Come on, we're going to make it. When we needed an announcer, I needed somebody with a Nice booming voice, and there was only one man for the job, Mr. Randy Dungess over here. <laughs> pastor, where are you at? Thank you, Pastor, for uh, he ain't fired me yet, amen. Um, but, Pastor, I come to him, I say, I got all these crazy ideas, we're gonna do all these things. He said, Hey, go for it, brother. So, thank you, brother, we appreciate you. I'll give it up for Pastor, Miss <laughs> Marita. She fusses at me every almost every week. Because coming from a small ministry, I'm used to doing everything myself. And she's like, you need to let me do stuff for you. So I let her help me this time. But we thank She's always encouraging me, always loving on me. She gave me a big hug before we started tonight. Miss Marita, thank you. <laughs> Parents, thank you for letting us uh, hang out with your kids on Wednesday nights and Sunday nights and Friday nights and sometimes Saturday. And then it's out of whim, whenever we're just doing something. They just want to hang out, so we just plan things last minute. Thank you for just bearing with all that. We appreciate you. Thank you so much for that. Give yourselves a round of applause. Now, this next young man is fixing to be mad at me. 
and that's all right, but I want him to walk up here. Mr. Tony West, come on up here, buddy. Come on. He's walking up here. Hey, and let me let me show y'all the highlight of his week every week. <laughs> let me tell you something. Friday night, we think we all have it all figured out. That Joker is scrambling. What are you doing? Not only is he making sure the the microphones are working, all this band equipment's plugged in where it needs to be, and switched, and everything else going on. He brings in another soundboard, plugs in nine more chords. Without him, y'all couldn't hear us tonight. You couldn't see us tonight. So y'all give him another round of applause for this gentleman. So he, he's going to be he is gonna be mad at me, but let me tell you something. He worked hard in these last three days. He always works hard, but these last three days for us, he has been amazing, and we appreciate that. Uh, students, y'all give our students one more round of applause. We are very, very proud of each of you. The ones, even I know there's some that are here supporting. We're proud of you just as much as we're proud of these guys. You guys work hard. You do a lot. As I said, you're going to be seeing our students a lot more uh, doing ministry and things around here. And so just be looking out for that. Now, here's the part that I'm supposed to say I have the best leadership team in the world. Let me just say I've come from, again, small ministry. And I've always surrounded myself with good people. But our ministry team, our leaders are absolutely the best. And I'm not just saying that. So, I won't call him, but hold on a minute. Let's, let's love him. Let me see Miss Nikki Kreider. Where you at? Robin Mobley. Mr. Don Mobley over here. Y'all ready for this? Miss Tammy West. And my lovely bride, Miss Amanda Dillion. Hey, when I tell you, I'm not used to being able to just to share ministry, and I'm really not used to being able to just give it away. And, and I tell you, it's hard for me because I'm not used to no more than having the resources. But these guys make it easy for me to hand things off and say, it's okay. It's going to be all right. <laughs> and they're going to do a great job with it. And they took some of these roles and did some things and a lot of things going on. They do it every Wednesday night. They do it every Sunday night. They are a huge, huge help. We're about to revamp our whole format on Wednesday nights at the beginning of the year, and these guys are going to play an even bigger part in it because I just believe that uh, God wants to use them. He already is, and, and uh, I'm just encouraged by the help that I have this year. And we also want to most importantly thank uh, Jesus Christ. We just thank the Lord for giving us the ability to be here. I know you, you're tired of me talking, but look, at the end of the day, that's why we're here. It wouldn't matter if we come up here and played Scrabble or whatever it was, if we're doing it for his glory and his honor, that's what matters. And these students and, and these leaders, they did this from day one we have preached. If you believe what you're saying and what you're singing, it's for the glory of God. The people in the audience are going to believe it too. And so, thank you. Great job. Uh, with that being said, thank you all again for being here tonight. It really means a lot. We want to also recognize our set free guys that have come to hang out with us tonight. Thank you guys for being here. We appreciate you coming. Excellent. Glad to have you. And I could just keep on talking all night long, but I promise I'm not going to do that. I think I'm, I might be late to work tomorrow, though, Pastor, because I'm tired. I might sleep late. I don't think I've slept for like three days. I'll be honest with you. Bed, we're going to bed late and getting up early and not sleeping, and it's just a, it's a mess. So I might be a little late tomorrow. You got to have Miss Marita. Don't dock my pay, all right? All right. So anybody else? Did I miss anybody, Pastor? Did I miss anybody? If, oh. I'd like to also thank my eight-year-old on the front row for booing me and keeping me humble. So, <laughs> all right. <laughs> thank you all again for being here tonight. This is not the last time you will see something like this. They will be working on things on Sunday night. It's now our performing arts night. Students, if you saw this, you say, man, I should have been a part. You're going to have a chance, all right? We're going to keep going on Sunday nights. We're going to keep things going. 
you may see a skit every now and again. You may see a song every now and again. But this will be something that, you, that will be a part of our student ministry from here on. So uh, Sunday nights at 6 o'clock for those who are in here um, until we get something special and then we start early. But 6 o'clock on Sunday nights. And then let me go ahead and give a plug for Wednesday nights at 645 uh, for our student ministry, also for our WANA ministry. And then also on Sunday nights at 6 o'clock is our children's choir as well. So, so lots going on for your children. Have them here. We want them to be a part. We encourage them to be a part. We, we would love for them to be, we will plug them in. If they're not comfortable singing, we'll have them do sign language. If they want to do a skit, we'll let them, I mean, whatever it is that God's calling them to do, we'll put it to use, okay? And we thank you for that. So, I promise that's it. Thank you again. We love you. Thank you for being here. Mr. Richard, is it your turn? Okay. Here our closing song here. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Oh, what a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. Oh, what a mighty God we serve. Oh, what a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. One last thing, parents. You God come on up here in the front. We're going to take the curtain down in the middle. Kids, what don't go 